हेलो एवरी वन आई एम मृणालिनी गरुड फ्रॉम के के वा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी नासिक महाराष्ट्र टुडे वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो वन ऑफ बायो इन्फॉर्मेटिक्स टूल दैट इज प्रोसाइट हाउ टू यूज इट वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो बिफोर गोइंग टू वर्ड्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रोसाइट वी शुड नो वॉट इज द प्रोसाइट एक्चुअल इट इज अ डाटा बेस ऑफ प्रोटीन फॉर्मेली एंड डोमेन्स also it is based on the observation that while there is a huge number of different protein most of them can be grouped on the basis of similarity in their sequences and the question arises how we can group these proteins okay i will answer it the proteins and the protein domains belonging to a particular family which generally share a functional attributes and these are derived from a common ancestor so it is apparent when studying protein sequence family that some regions have been better conserved than other during evolution likewise we can identify the common ancestor and can group the number of proteins in a particular family or common family also these general regions are important for the function of a protein or for the maintenance of the three dimensional structure also as we know in a cell there is number of post translational modification were carried out and these post translational modifications can be studied uh, by using this prosite also by studying its function of domain and conserved part of protein and how to it transfer from throughout the evolutionary relationship or throughout its evolutionary history likewise this protein sorry this prosite tool can be used for different uh, post translational modification study also its function then its evolutionary study its domain structure study its uh, three dimensional structure study so this is the short introduction of prosite now we will see how to assess this prosite we should go for prosite scan from where we can scan our curie sequence okay then click on this this is the url prosite as we know this prosite scan is nothing but it is a tool of expasi server and it is uh, its data is maintained by SIB that is Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. Okay, here we can see it is expasi tool prosite scan. Here we can see these are the three steps for scanning our curie sequence. First, we have to submit the curie sequence. Then, second, have to select its option of probability probability occurrence. Then, the third part is its output option. first option we can see there are also again three options are given like if you want to study your protein sequence against a prosite collection of motifs you should go for option first if you want to identify the your motif sequence with the protein sequence database you should go for option second and if you want the protein sequence and motif to find out the relationship between your protein sequence and how to scan with your motif with each other then you should go for option 3 okay i have one curie sequence here is test okay here we can input the accession number of uniprot or pdv and also fasta format can be inputted these are the three input supported data here i have inputted the fasta format then in step second if your curie sequence is too large then you should go for this checkbox exclude motif with high probability of occurrence if the protein sequence is short then you should click on run the scan at high sensitivity and if you want to exclude the profiles you can click on this second option as we know there are 
number of sequences or the region which are repeated again and again in protein and this sequences may affect on the result to scan the protein domain then you should go for exclude motif with high probability of occurrence then we have completed the second task also in third option this is output format these output formats are different views like graphical view simple view fasta table and text also as we know graphical view is the best for your identification then this result once this result is completed you can also receive this result by your email just insert input your email id here and just give a job title of your query okay once the whole scanning is completed a job title is completed you get a mail of your result then just click on start the scan scanning please wait while this do not close this window or refresh this window okay this is our result this is a graphical view of our query sequence okay here we can see we get three hits in a sequence uh, uh, for our query sequence in pro site there are three hits of similarity which which are showing homology to our sequence then in graphical view the legend is a important part here we can see in red color there are active sites then this is for disulfide bridge then for other ranges green lines and for other site these are the legends of uh, our graph we will see one by one okay in first hit it is a best hit can say in this we can see this is a domain we observe this domain sequence and it is nothing but serine protease trypsin domain profile and its uh, number or occurrence is near about 24 to 244 number of amino acids also here we can see this is the domain sequence and its description or predictive features are given below like domain disulfide active site number here we can see when i am moving this cursor the sequence is highlighted differently like active site is uh, given in red color like this you can see in the, your here sequence then disulfide bond is given on this amino acid number and many more the score is also given here here we can see the active region is represented in red color these are the active regions here we can see there are three active regions of uh, your domain then in our query sequence the matched sequence are represented in highlighted color here we can see this is represented in highlight color okay then in second hit also it is for histidine active site this is one site of domain for histidine active site then here also there are some active sites are present near about 63 amino acid here is the its uh, number of amino acid is given 59 to 64 number of amino acid is represent for histidine active site then this one is for serine active site region and uh, it may be predicted in 194 to 205 amino number of amino acids these three hits are homologous to each other which are showing here yeah, we can see if you click if you click on your domain you get its information of its function its occurrence and so many more like trip it is for trypsin enzymes 
then three patterns of thrift uh, the description of thrips in domain profile then history in active profile and serial active profile this is the detailed description of our query uh, result here we can see so i have clicked on this uh, thrips in the highlighted color is changed that means these are the domain side of our sequence if uh, again you click on this you get its information its description of trips in family we can call it as a signature profile By using this ProSite tool, you can identify the domain or active site of your unknown query and its uh, homologous sequences also. Hope this video is helpful. Thank you.